Hey guys, welcome to our final and last web browser tutorial. Today I'll be showing you Firefox, Mozilla Firefox, or Mozilla Firefox, or however you want to pronounce it. So, personally, Firefox, I'm not a fan, but you guys might be, so we'll be showing you Firefox today. It, I like this nice screen it loads up when you're loading. So, get straight to the point, shows you now, shows you your features, you can customize with install add-ons, which is pretty nice, just like Dolphin Browser. You can, this is what it shows you when you first launch the app, so, you can just go, you can go to, let's say, Google, google.com, right there, oops, Google. So here we go. We're at Google now. Nice little mobile version of Google right here. And if you might have seen when I was typing, which nice, like you can type, instead of typing in web address, say you want to type in um, web browser. Space browser, B R O W S E R. And say you don't want to look on look for a website named web browser or say you just want to look on Google so it comes up with these different options it says you can look on Google for the term web browser you can look on Amazon for the term web browser Twitter or Wikipedia so it's really nice say you just don't want to really go to the site Google and then you type in web browser in Google and then search and then hopefully you find what you're looking for it's just easier to type in web browser into your navigation bar up here and then it'll come up with the option that you can go to google you can go to amazon you can go to twitter or you can go to wikipedia it's really nice for researching things or just trying to find a quick answer without going through the hassle so we'll click on google you know bring you to google or search the term web browser which is really nice about firefox but the thing that I don't like about it is the lack of tabs. You can't really navigate your, through your tabs so easy on this one. You have to go through the menu button and then you have to click on all pages and then you come to whatever. But if navigating through your tabs isn't such a big deal then Firefox is great it's super quick and user interface is so so but it's still a good it's still a good browser you can see here we have your bookmarks you can program your bookmarks whatever you want you can see your history um, as well as you can sync your devices to a desktop so it's showing you add a device you can click show me how or you can say I'm not near a computer so you can click show me how take you to the um to the help Firefox help and it says how do I sync Firefox between my desktop and mobile and it'll share your bookmarks your password setting history so it's pretty neat if you wanna have all your passwords or bookmarks synced with your computer or vice versa your computer synced with your mobile Firefox so it's pretty cool and don't get me wrong I like Firefox I'm not trying to put it down on Firefox or anything but I'm just saying it's not for me but Firefox is still it's still a great browser it's still a great app but all in all, I think the one that really takes the cake is Dolphin Browser. Dolphin Browser, to me, is my personal favorite. But Firefox and Opera are still great. Um, they're still great user interfaces. They're still great platforms to do your web browsing on. It's just personal preference in the end. So you can be the judge. You can try them all three out. They're all free on the Android market. 
you can try them out on your Android smartphone as well as your Android tablet so I suggest going trying all three out see which is your favorite so thanks for watching all three vids about web browsers for more information you can look on Google you can watch YouTube videos or you can just try them out for yourself so I recommend last suggestion try them out yourself so thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos thanks